Len Brown to show you a little review, demonstration, whatever, on the Baroque dressage saddle. The saddle is becoming more popular all the time simply because people look at it. They look at the 13 pounds, 14 pounds of weight, and they say, wow. They have no idea how comfortable it is. Once they ride it, they do. And it's because of the beautiful twist in the tree bars, the narrow waist in the seat. And I'll show you here. This saddle, by the way, is not finished yet. It doesn't have stirrup straps on it yet. This will get two and a half inch stirrup straps that don't give you any leg pinch. It does have a floral, two floral panels right here and just a border. This is the way the gentleman from South Africa ordered it. That's where it's going. It's not his first saddle from me that he's ordered. It has, this particular saddle is brown with a black rawhide pencil roll candle and black rawhide pencil roll on a pommel. So he's going to give it some use. He runs a exotic wildlife ranch raising exotic wildlife to be released in the preserves in South Africa. So uh, saddle, this one weighs 14 pounds. The unique thing about the Baroque is the rigging. This D-ring is Western. This rigging is Western. This D-ring rotates, so your latigo strap hangs from here. 90% of the time, positioning, this is all you need. You uh, back and forth through the girth. When you do, you go ahead and cinch up, put your end strap in one of these, let it hang down. I use nylon latigos with this saddle and all of my saddles. If you have a saddle that slides too far forward, little young horse, downhill horse, whatever, you go the last loop to the front D, buckle up good and tight to the girth, it will hold your saddle back. This one, We'll pull your saddle forward on a big walking horse with big shoulders if the saddle wants to scoot too far back. That's what the extra D's are for, front and rear. This one rotates so it'll go down to your girth where it should it'll angle nicely. won't be pulling the saddle forward because you can angle this forward. Get my no flinch cinch and the buckle on it rotates, you can angle it back if you need to. So you've got it covered. Back to saddle. Narrow waist to the seat. Nice and narrow. I just weigh this saddle, it's 14 pounds. He wanted extra footman's loops and a crupper D. He has my, my uh, saddle positioner, my elastic crupper. He loves it. He wanted this. And some strings to tie off of. We didn't go ahead and put any footman's back here. This is sitting on the protector pad that will come with it, which also comes with a liner pad so you don't have to wash the protector pad. The tree on this saddle is right here. And uh, you'll notice the long foot on the bars of the tree. These bars are the same bar that I use in the pocket barrel racer and that I use in the Patriot saddle. They are extremely good. This long foot holds your saddle up in front like all of my saddles. Our contact is down low, outside the withers. We can always get clearance here at the withers. So just a little flare to these bars. I don't like to see flare starting back here. I like to see it starting from about here forward. That's where it stops. The fork angles back, which gives you all the security in the world in that saddle because your leg, your thigh flows right through here with a nice narrow waist. It's even made narrower when we put the 3 8 inch of neoprene foam on here cut like it is that you saw in the finished saddle. So that is the tree. It looks good in the rear on the average horse. The shields and the protector pad let you use it on the big horse. That means you won't bite with the bottom of the bars right here because you have a protective shield underneath here that moves gently with the loins but does not let pressure bite through in this 
angle, front to rear. So the tree is the saddle, we make the trees. Nobody has this tree because I developed these bars a long time ago and proved them and improved them again over the years, the last 30 years, 35 on those bars. Protector pad again, drops in the center. When the horse's back is down like a relaxed horse, it comes up when you ride. It moves with the horse. So this is the broke dressage, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. The saddle's light, the saddle is reasonable, it's $26.90 in price, along with a protector pad, and it has that western rigging so you can girth it really well, and anybody can, because western gives you leverage. The more wraps you take with a latigo, and if it's nylon, it's slick, then the more poundage you gain, an increase in poundage from your pull. From every wrap gives you a pulley action that tightens more than just one single loop. Len Brown, thank you very much.